Alright then everyone, hello, hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Blind Parasite Eve. I'm of course the Black Shadow and uh, we are not doing too bad at the moment folks. Well, when I say that, it's been a bit up and down as we've embarked upon uh, floors uh, 21 to 30 in the last video and well, it, it, it could have been smoother but at least we've finished not too badly folks. We had a bit of a rough start. Uh, lost our revive potion that we had, um, only just gotten hold of. We, we've lost that immediately, which kind of sucked. Uh, picked up a couple of good um, items though, particularly, I'm um, still very happy to have gotten hold finally of a uh, of a shotgun for us to use, um, which showed some potential promise actually. In fact, it's got an absolute bucket ton load of uh, slots for me to use. The one problem I didn't realise, unfortunately, is it does. It can only be used once. I can only fire one shot. It really needs at least a double shot. I kind of didn't think about that, folks. So uh, once we get that opportunity to do that, I think this is going to have immediately more use. But until then, we're just going to keep it handy. Uh, M8000 still, of course, our weapon of choice. All right then. So it's time for us to continue on. It has been a little. I um I don't know what floor we're on. I have no idea. Um, I don't remember where we got to. I think this is like floor twenty five. I twenty somewhere around there, twenty five ish. You know, why did this game never bother to, like, tell you where you actually are? I never quite got it, folks. I never, ever quite got it. This would be a really good spot to use the shotgun. To just spray kill these snakes. But, unfortunately, I don't have that, op that, uh, that opportunity. I am going to get pace in here. This is going to be ugly. Run... Start working on these guys. Ooh, nice, got him in. Uh, got him in the first uh, first four bursts. Pretty good. Ow! Yeah, enemies hitting pretty hard. It kind of sucks. Um, yeah, it's not good. Uh, I have, of course, also been spending parts of videos attempting to uh, not actually, you know, trying to use melee weapons where possible. Um, just to try and conserve some ammo because we were running a bit short and we managed to then luckily find a couple of pretty, pretty big uh, cases of ammo lying around, rather fortunately. Which has kind of got us back in the game. These spiders are deadly. I do not want anything to do with these guys. Shit, I got up. Alright, go, 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 go. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Wow. That, but that, if they all just charged me, I'd have been in serious jeopardy. But luckily they didn't. Luckily they did not. And I've got away with that one. That could have been really, really bad. Thank goodness it went well. Right, okay then. Sorry about that, folks. I guess we can just all look to kind of... I mean, couldn't even at least, like... I, I don't know how the game could have perhaps, like... Made us aware of what floor we're on. But it would have been nice for the game to kind of tell us. Oh, well. Anyway. Supply room get. Right, okay. Mm, we'll get rid of a couple of these. Ooh. Hello. The Type 64. This is an assault rifle, folks. You notice it's got the critical percentage increases, which is pretty sweet. Type 64. Is that a, um... I'm 
trying to think what the Type 64 is. Does that gun even exist? I, I, I don't know. Could be Chinese. Could be Chinese. I don't know exactly. Either way, not a bad weapon. It's four slots. I'm not really going to use it, I don't think. So I'm just going to gut it for its ammo at the moment. But, you know, that uh, critical percentage um, increase uh, modifier. That's pretty nice. That could be really nice with the shotgun as well, actually, thinking about it. Get rid of one of these. Defense up one. Pretty good. Lovely. That gives us a night defense now. That's a decent piece of armor, folks. It's a decent piece of armor. I don't care for getting hold of either of the, um, the stiffness potions. I kind of want to get some more health for me anyway, so we'll be fine. I should say at the moment, really, folks, just kind of that sort of settling in again. So I've done the last, like, four or five videos, however much it is, uh, since, like, floor 11. I've done this all in one sitting, folks. Uh, floor 26, I think. Um, so, yeah, you know, I've been sort of running along for this for a good couple of hours now, running through Chrysler Building. Um, it's not been so bad so far. I mean, I suppose it's, it's inevitable. I mean, the fact, obviously, that everything's sort of starting to, not necessarily just look all the same. But, you know, it's like, it's like anything of this sort of nature, folks. Ooh. After a while, it's sort of, you know, you slowly sort of just, like, the middle period, you sort of start settling in to just sort of grind through uh, level after level. Oh, shit. Shit! It's a trap! Oh, no! Did you see that? Oh, I took the hit, but I survived barely. And I went to, like, use the barrier, and it just simply didn't do anything. I, I, I tried to get in quick, and it did not happen. The good news, folks, is we survived. Barely. Run! This thing hits like a truck still. Man, that was close. That was real close. Did you just move out of my effective range? Couldn't tell. No, I wasn't critically hitting him, that's for sure. I mean, I've got no idea what this thing is called. Bloody dangerous, though. Yeah, so it's about 250 experience it gives, which is pretty nice still. Level up. Oh, yeah, look at that max HP. That is good stuff. And uh, ammo as well. I think that more or less makes up for uh, the ammo I used there. A yeah, slight profit. Main thing, big health boost. Big health boost. Now, that is important. Hmm. And a, uh, see, the CM jacket. Another, um armor with the uh, auto healing ability which is nice to keep those um, handy because it is quite useful to just put that little ability on um, late game uh, armor late game armor is that really what I'm trying to say I mean like um, armor that I'm modifying um, it saves me having like super tool it over from the previous armor I can just tool it on from uh, a set I've already got because of course there's only so many uh, super tools in the game I don't want Run completely dry them. Ow. Quickly heal up and then, as I have been doing uh, so far, folks, I'm just getting my club out and just beating this guy to death. He's pretty. You know, he's pretty harmless. You know, I mean, unless he like runs into me or I let him hit me with his stupid. whatever the hell this is. I don't know. But we're fine just to basically just hit him in the back. Just save some ammo. Just save some trouble. More ammunition as well, really nice. 
Yeah, you see, this uh, using melee weapons from time to time, certainly helping to uh, stretch our armor out. Really helping with that, which is good. Because it did look like for a while we might run out. Which was a problem. So I guess we're heading down. Interesting to see what some of you guys uh, make of. Uh, now that you know, I've been obviously at the um, at the crisis building for a little while now. Be interesting to see how some of you, get, what some of you guys uh, make of this place. Now, sort of getting a little bit further deeper in. I've got to say that the past like five videos I've done all at once. I don't know what you guys are gonna comment particularly on any of this. Shit, get away! Him in the face. Hit him in the face. Damn. Ow. Me. Rude. Ow. Yeah, this guy's pretty. These guys just, yeah, just clump to death. It's a little bit slower, I guess, but uh, it is long term gaming, everyone. Long term. You know, in a place like this where, you know, you've got to bear in mind that you can only exit every ten stages, basically. You've got to, uh, think a bit long term here. That If you suddenly run out of, like, ammo in, like, floor 27, or X7, or X8, you're pretty stuffed. You're in really bad shape, so you need to try and, uh, don't let that happen. And if there's something you can club to death, now that we've got the club for the club three was not good enough because it halved my uh, attack power, which sucked. So it's basically everyone with a club with an attack power of like what maybe 18, whereas this club's got an attack power of 80 plus it has additional critical striking. So it's actually basically got an attack power of even more than that. It's it's you know the power of that club is rivaling you know shot for shot my handgun. It's about the same sort of level. Which is pretty good. Staircase better be up here, otherwise I'm going to be very cross. Ah, thank goodness. Alright then, floor 27? I think. It's not been so bad, actually. I mean, I'm still kind of enjoying uh, going through this. I mean, eventually, you know, obviously, you've got to bear in mind after a while that there's only so much you can see of, like, the same, like, environment, um, you know, in the same rooms over and over again. But I've done enough grinding um, in my uh, in my days, folks, to uh, be prepared for eventualities like this. This is going to hurt. Ow, ow, ow! No, just kill them. Take out the snake. I would like to try and melee the snakes dead because I don't really need to be hitting them because they don't do very much damage. But you know, that should be you dead. Um, uh, I would like some of them. Wow, I actually got quite a few of those. Two poison, two darkness, five of them. I don't need. That would be acceptable. I am looking forward to when we start getting like the uh, some of like the later um, dungeon. Like then we start getting like the music that was playing the museum. Oh, that'd be great! I love the um, museum uh, music. Um, that was awesome. One of my favourites. Uh Okay, yeah, apologize. One of my favorite um, tracks in the game. The uh, museum dungeon theme. Really awesome. Hello, supply room. Uh. 
That is admittedly one somewhat surprise bonus of having uh, the first striking ability or the potential first striking ability is that if you do get ambushed, you might have the chance to like bury yourself before you take a ton of damage. Ooh, hello. As you can see, resistance against darkness. Now that could well be something I edit. I've also just cost myself about 30 health. Oops. That's not bad. That could be very handy later down the line. Oops. That'll be acceptable. I should just use the medicine or whatever. Another trading guard, that's for the M1. And an offense boost. I will certainly be taking that. I do want to actually make it potentially powerful. I could give it to the M203, but the M203, um, I've got basically for tranquilizing abilities. Oh, I should have used it against the freaking, um... The reason I had this was partially to use against the freaking mimic thing, because it is apparently easily tranquilizable, uh, which would save having to dodge its attacks that do, like, 250 damage, which, of course, is pretty crippling at this point. So, yeah, that was a, a bit of a mistake. Oops. But I'll put it on the shotgun. I'll give it a little bit of a boost. Getting it prepared and ready for its, uh, long journey ahead. And then I suddenly find, like, the best shotgun in the game. I'm like, huh, never mind. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. Alright then. Let's not do that. There we are. No inventory space. I've got, like, four pieces of armor on me, which is kind of a bit much. But not much I can do about it. Kill it. Quick, 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 quick. Ooh, dodged it just about. Yeah, the fact those spires can hit me for like 80 damage is pretty ugly. Wipe me. Hey! Who do you think you are? Thank you. Take my ammo back. Thank you. You know, I was in profit on ammo before you ran out of my range and I missed. Jerk. Alright, up we go again. Floor, I, I have lost complete track. We're in the upper 20s, like 27, something like that. I really have lost track. This is why I'm trying to... I, I didn't want to take a pause between, um, like, this video and the last one, but I kind of had no choice. Um, I had to take a small pause. Um, and then I, of course, didn't bother to write down which floor I was on. So when I come back, I'm like, oh, oh, where am I? Oh, no idea. It's not very good. It's not very professional. This isn't going away, does it? Nope. Damn, I'm good. Ha! Come to me, precious. I have come for your spoils and for your combat. You will die. Get out of my face. Wasting my time. Wasting my time. Probably not even really worth the two bullets I just spent. Whatever. is full. I'm aware of this. Don't really want to be comping on my health yet. Mm. Is there any... <sighs> I 
kind of need all this armor. Problem I've got is I can't even like I could like put one and well, I could like um, tall two together, but then I'm gonna need a super tool in order to then take both things off of that. And I want to be the super tools are pretty rare. I want those for messing around with um, weapons mainly. <sighs> Do I just ditch the type sixty four? I could just ditch the Type 64. I do want the critical hit. I could put that on the shotgun. I wouldn't mind the free burst as well. Two bursts was a minimum. I've got a super tall on me. Oh, do I want to? Then I'm suddenly putting everything into the M870. Well, that's irrelevant. And the other shotgun's going to have their automatic things, which is just first strike, critical percentage, and the parameters, which ain't too bad. So, you know what? I'm going to do this. We're going to take both the uh, enhancements, and we're going to say goodbye to the Type 64. I'm not too concerned about that. It's... Alright, so our shotgun is now, I'd say, reasonably usable. Reasonably. Alright, what have we got in these then, anyways? Range 1, I will be acquiring that. What do I want to put it on? I think the shotgun could do with a bit of extra range. So I'll give it to that. And offense 1. Oh shit, no, 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 no. And I'm going to give that to the M8000, as I gave it to the other thing previously. Alright, so that frees up a little bit of inventory space. Maybe I might... S I don't know, I might slightly regret using the tool and super tool on the shotgun in that way later down the line. But as a slight necessity, um, and a slight convenience, uh, it's a trade-off I'm willing to make. And again, I do want to be able to start getting able to use the shotgun potentially to clear out some of these areas um, a bit more conveniently. To save me stop having to like single out the, uh, the snakes here and then open myself up to attack from everything else in the damn map. Which is a problem. You gotta stop that shit. You see that shit you are doing? You must stop it immediately. Thank you. Give me my bullets. Give me my medicine, please. Thank you. Right, how much are you gonna get it out, actually? Why not? Let's get it out and have a little blast of it. It does need some more firepower, certainly. Its firepower is a little bit lacking. When it does burst out as well, the um, it does lose a bit of firepower per sort of when it hits more than one enemy. But of course, if you're hitting three, four, five enemies at a time, a bit like this, it kind of makes up for itself. A bit like that, you know. Then suddenly, it makes up for the uh, for, for the for the firepower technically lost, and it still has the potential of hitting enemies outside of range as well, which is pretty sweet. Bad snake. Oh shit! Shit! Been poisoned. Gonna take some poison damage. Oh, actually, not that much. 
kind of sucks not having double command. And also, of course, having the shotgun out, my attack gauge is a little bit slower to replenish as well, which is regretful. Yeah, against, like, two enemies, it's not great. But against, like, four or five, it's certainly good to start off with just, just sweep the room out of enemies. It's pretty sweet. I suspect that as we go further on, I think the game is going to gradually sort of force me to uh, make more of these kind of uh, little, more minute decisions. There we go, there's plenty of this. Uh, no, 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 no. Where is... I don't want it on me! Right, let's heal ourselves again. Sort that out. Reload, 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 reload. As I say, when you're hitting like four or five enemies at a time, you are also saving a bit of ammo. Because a shot is a shot is a shot. So, you know, I'm spreading out. I'm, I'm doing like about, ah, shit. I'm doing about like 100 damage a shot. Instead of like the, uh, the, the, the 60 odd I'd be doing with a handgun. So, you know, it's a little bit of, uh, I wouldn't say it's effort as such, but it's just, you know, it's, not, it's, it, there's, it's risk and reward, you know. There's certain reward for, uh, for going ahead doing that sort of thing. Let's try up here. But certainly it's not something we're using against uh, bosses particularly. Hello, beautiful! Nice to see you as always. You are the sign that I am succeeding in the Chrysler building as we enter floor um 28 ish. Now against these spiders, I'm not so keen on using this because the spiders move fast and they hit like fucking like that. They hit really, really, really hard. I need to avoid... I'm dead. Oh. No, I've been caught. Oh, shit. Now I have cocked up. I'm going to have to use one of these now. Shit, 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 shit. Run. Run. Ow. Yeah, this is the one kind of like enemy spawn group where I really don't want to be using the shotgun particularly. It's not a lot of use in this one. The spiders just hit too quick. Oh, shit. All right, let's get this thing killed. Yeah, the shotgun just doesn't really fire fast enough to really uh, make it justifiable against the spiders. The spiders just need to be hanged unto death. Not much I can do particularly about that. Right, okay then. Let's do that. Uh, what am I doing? I am doing this. Reloading. Reloading! One of these days, I'm going to LP that fucking game. But me and LP it for like three years and I never did. It'll happen, folks. It'll happen. No, spider. On a scale of one to no, one being one and no being no, you are not doing that to me. It's unacceptable behaviour. Your friend will pay the price. Ah, shit. Ow! Run into me. I had full health, you know, before you did that. Meanie. Get that damn potion and leave me alone. Leave me to cry in the corner and think about what could have been. Alright. 
Alrighty then. Let's head on down. There's not really much else direction to be going. Try and find the exit. Said we'll try and find the. Oh boy. I'm not a fan of taking on like. Yeah, not a fan of taking on like loads of these plant things. Ow, 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 ow! Right. Let's just kill that and then we can like shotgun these snakes or something. Which might be an easier way of dealing with these guys. Come on then, you scumbags! Come at me! That's it! Ah, oh, he hit me! Are you kidding me? Jerk! Medicine all over the joint. Um, is there anything else I can particularly use? One, two, one, two, one, two. I've got no medicine freeze, which is kind of scary. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that is two things we currently do not have. We do not have any medicine freeze. We do not have any revives. Which is kind of not good. Putting it lightly. It is the antithesis of goodness. Ooh, hello. Oh, man. Uh, if I get rid of a poison potion, I have got detox. Get rid of poison potion. It's a tool. My oh, thank you. Not quite what I was looking for, but... Might put the tool away here. Ooh. T plus two to inventory. That's not bad. That could be quite a useful little modifiable uh, ability, actually. We'll take that with me. Guess I'll have to ditch one of these, won't I? Another grenade launcher, folks. This one has five slots again, but... <sighs> Meh. Nah. I'm not going to use it, am I? I'm going to ditch it. I'm not going to use it. I know I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to remove it. And I'll take the medicine too. I'll take the eight bullets. And I'm just going to leave it there. I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously conscious of the fact that I've got uh, a boss fight coming up pretty shortly. So I don't really want to be getting uh, heavily involved. Um, in sort of like really... Throwing away health items. I think I'm gonna need them. Please tell me the stairs are up here somewhere. Please. Where is the plant pot of success? There's the plant pot of success. You wonderful little creature. Lovely. All right then. Well, with that. Uh done and we've found the staircase folks that means we are ready to move on to the next floor which will be next time as I do need to end the video unfortunately however we've not got far to go um, I think we've literally got maybe like this floor to clear and then I think we may be ready for our boss fight <sighs> no revives no medicine freeze 
both suck severely. But if we can get through that, we've got some things we could certainly have to play around with back at the precinct, folks. So hopefully that's going to go all right. But we'll have to find out next time. So thank you much for watching. And uh, actually, I tell you what I'm going to quickly do here. I'm going to. I'm going to increase this. Increase my active time, and I'm giving me some further firepower. Lovely. See you next time, everyone!